2008 October during Cancer Awareness Month. Sasa nilikuwa naona tu kwa TV hizo vitu. Nikalala tu kwa kitanda nikajifinya tu matiti. Nikasikia kalamp. Sasa this first one of mine his mommy's guy kabisa. Sasa nilimpeleka afanywe circumcision. Sasa nikauliza daktari, what's about uh, this thing? I'm feeling something in my breast. Then the doctor told me that he come with 2500 when the theater utolewe uangaliliwe ni nini. Nikasema sasa why should I part with 2500 the kitu ni umi. Na umtu pia kusikia tunaenda kukatwa ilikuwa ni kama naenda kukufa operation. Sasa nilisema ah hai ni umi alafu 2500 na kazi yangu ne, na pesa yenye napata nikaona hapana sijaplania hiyo. Let me just wait. It's not paining. Kenya nilifanya niende sasa hospitali. Nilisikia inaniwasha ni kama um, naota moto sasa inaniban. Nikasikia tu hiyo joto kidogo hapo tu. Na nikasema pana si huyo mtoto ako shule. Akishaenda shule mimi nikapanda gari nikaenda langata. Nilijipeleka tu. So once you notice there's some change in your breast then you seek for medical advice. The doctor will examine you. Uh, will check the shape, the size, will check uh, any skin changes. They look at your nipple, is there any roughness on the nipple? Is the nipple retracting backwards? Um, they'll palpate to feel for any lumps. Once they check and maybe there are lumps, then they'll, do, they'll send you for further testing, which include um, drawing some specimen from that lump to check by a needle. Um, they can also do uh, a biopsy where they take a bigger specimen of tissue you can also be subjected to a mammogram or an ultrasound depending on the on your age and what the doctor suspects they told me to come for uh, to come for the result after 2 weeks when i nilikuja daktari mmoja alini break the news alini umiza kabisa he was a young guy sasa siku kama alikuwa intern ama nini aliniita tu kwa room tani yangu ikifika I told that if you you know what, you have cancer, and uh, this is what we are going to do. We are going to chop off your breast. You're going to for chemotherapy. So you need, need, need. If you kwa makuapa, tenda kinyata utolewe nini? Aye, ni kashema. Why? No, this is not me. You maybe it's not my result. Most of the time, the causes of breast cancer in many people, it's not known. It can be random, but we are aware of some risk factors. Um, one of them include uh, the fact that you have a breast. The other risk factor include um, having few children, um, uh, also having your first baby when you are over 30 years old. Um, also, if you have a strong family history of breast cancer, like in the first degree relatives, these ones we are talking about maybe your sister or your aunt who had breast cancer, you, you are at risk. So it can be genetic. It can run in families. So it's something you cannot do about it. Then um, the other risk factor include um, as we age, um, when once you hit 40 and above, the risk keeps increasing. And then the other risk factor is using um, hormonal replacement therapy, like for postmenopausal women when they get hot flashes and we use uh, hormonal replacement therapy, they are at risk. And then the other simple things like um, lack of breastfeeding of children puts, put, puts you at risk. And having no children at all also puts you at risk of breast cancer, lack of exercise. Um, using heavy use of alcohol and tobacco. Mm -hmm. The earlier the best. You have to accept it. Be positive. I take stress. You be positive. And ukubali tu ukatwe.
for early stage, um, ideally you need to go for operation. Once the surgery is done, um, then um, the specimen from that breast tissue and the, they also take lymph nodes from the armpit, they go and test. Depending now on the pathological stage, then you'll be subjected to more treatment which includes chemotherapy and radiotherapy, but it all depends. Sometimes you can just have surgery and that is it. And also it is, uh, the specimen is taken for what we call hormonal testing and if the hormonal receptors are positive, you can be given hormonal treatment for a couple of years, usually about five years. If it is advanced stage, for example, it has already spread to other organs, then you know uh, probably you will have to start off with chemotherapy to shrink the tumor and then the other treatments like surgery and radiotherapy can follow.